Hi my YouTuber friends, it's Scarpunk again with, with another video and this video is entail like um, do you really need to live out of your van full time to enjoy minimalism or alternative living or a cheaper way of living? Well I say you don't have to. Take me, Scarpunk. I'm part time and I still love the fruits of minimalism. Minimalism, simple living, no high rent, no high big bills, debt free, the works. Because this allowed me. Not just that, I'm talking to, I'm trying to give you another way to live. Say that you have a bigger family, say you have a kid or two, or even you buy yourself, that's fine, doesn't matter, or your pet. Do you really have to live at your van full time? No, you don't. That's my answer. This is just my opinion, by the way. You don't have to. What if you decide to have a room? Get rent a small room for like three, four hundred dollars or three hundred dollars a month. This is someone who has a part time job. Oops, sorry, I messed up. I hit the dry pod. Hey, that's DIY. Oi! That's how you do it. Nobody's perfect. Anyway, where was I before I was rudely interrupted by myself? <laughs> Woo. Yes, you can live out of your van part time and still benefit or reap the benefits of simple living. And I'll tell you how, like I said before earlier, how about renting a small room? I have a studio, so I have best of both worlds. You can have best of both worlds as well. Because like I said, let's keep it, let's keep it real. Not everybody wants to live in a small a van. Not everybody can live out of a van in a small space. Some people, I, want, I, I, I like what you're doing, Scarpunk, but I love my big two bedrooms. I love my big living room. I love my tie, uh, bedroom. That's fine. If you're willing to pay for it, or if you're willing to work hard two, three jobs to pay for it. Some people, I admit, can do one job and make good money and pay for that. And that's good for you. That's for you. But I'm talking to those people who are willing to adapt and change a new space. You can have best of both worlds. So you don't have to live out your van full time. Yes, like I said before, you don't have to live out of your van full time. This is my, this is my place. I live alternatively myself. I pay 500 a month for this studio. This is my studio, my living room, bedroom. As you can see, this is my place. A home, home away from home. Home away from home. And I'm saying... There you close the door, so I have more room. There you go, much darker. It's room, I mean place, away from place. So I live at my van part time. And I can also live here, in this place right here, part part time as well. People will say, why well, have two? Because I have best of two worlds. S suppose you live at your van full time, and that's all you have, just your van. Think of the downsides, like if your van gets stolen, broken into, it's destroyed, big accident, someone's, your vehicle gets broken down, and you go to a garage, and the, you talk to the mechanic, well, um, how much will it cost to fix this or that, depending on what the problem is? He'll tell you, well, I have to keep your vehicle overnight for two, three days. Remember, this is your home you're talking about. Now you're going to have to go and find a motel for at least a couple of days. You may say, oh, that's no, no big deal. But the big deal is this. By the time you finish paying the motel, you're going to be paying $300 or $400. And that's just for four days. Because most motels a day... Even in the ghetto, poor neighborhoods, you're at least paying $75 a day. That's one fifty two nights. Now, previously I said I pay one fifty. I pay five hundred a month for this place where I live now. I pay five hundred a month for this. Think about it: five hundred a month versus three hundred in two days. And this is if your vehicle breaks down. And this is what I'm talking about. Maybe you can rent a small room, and you don't have to live in there. You don't have to live in that small room. You don't have to. You just have a have. You say you have a roommate. They have a room. You have a room, and you got to share the bathroom and kitchen. You don't have to share the bathroom and kitchen because you have one in your van. You know you can use your small room as storage to stock up extra food, extra clothes. This way, the van you live out of part time, you don't have to stock it all up. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's my room, my place I live, I just showed you. So you see, you can live part-time and you don't have to live full-time to 
reap the benefits of simple minimalism and simple living. Get a small room. You know what? Let's get some music. It's kind of quiet out here. Let me get some music. Let's hear some punk rock. Oi! Hold on there. If I can find it. Let's hear some music in five, four, three, two, one, and. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, punk rock. Anyway, like I was saying before guys, you can live at your van part time and have best of both worlds, like I do. You gotta do it right and set up the way you want it. It can be done. And that's what I'm saying guys. It's a great way to live. So and this is this is more for people who don't want to live full time in their vehicles. Because not everybody, again, like I said before, not everybody wants to live full time in their vans or out of their van. Like me, I'm one of those people. I don't want to live full time out of my van right now. I'm young still. Well, I'm in my late 40s. But um, technically, I'm still sexy and young. And I'm not ready yet. I still love the best, best of both worlds. I have a great job in retail. And like the virus thing going on now, we're making tons of money. And I'm doing a lot of overtime. So I don't mind. I'm loving it. And I get to save a ton of money. Of course, you get that part already. But the point I'm trying to say is, if you don't want to live at your van full time, you can live and benefit minimalism by doing it part time, as I do. Get a small room, use it as a storage, and you don't have to see your roommate. If you're one of those people that don't want a roommate, like myself, I don't want a roommate. So I'm looking to find this place where I have a kitchen and a bathroom like you just saw earlier in the video. But some places, you may have to rent a small room. There's two rooms, like I said. Your roommate, your roommate has one, you have one. Or rent someone's basement for like 300, 400 a month. But you say, you know what? I don't want to stay in that basement all day. I mean, stay in that basement all the time. But you don't have to. You buy your van, live at your van. Time, when the time's when you want to be alone, you take your van and you park and live somewhere else in your van or out of your van. And then when you want to be in an enclosed place or you want to go to a, like an apartment mentality, you have your basement, apartment, or studio. You see? So it can be done. Choice is always yours. There's always a way to live simple, guys. Always. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you like what I just said. I hope you get spirit, um, inspired by this. Because like I said before, you don't have to live full-time at your van to live good. Anyway, with that, I'm out. Keep it nice, keep it sweet, and keep it bloody well. Oi! Or real in your case.